back. History runs deep across our valley, especially black history, and one Nevada lawmaker has legendary ties to our city. 13 Action News reporter Alicia Patillo explains the role Councilman Cedric Creer's family played in Nevada and how he's now working to leave behind his own legacy. Councilman Cedric Creer started representing Ward 5 two years ago, but his roots run much deeper than that. And it's my community. And I grew up with the people who, who lived there, who still live there, and I feel at home. Creer's father, Dr. John Creer, was the second black doctor to ever practice in the state of Nevada. Originally from Houston, Texas, John Creer moved to Southern California, where he met his wife and began his medical residency at UC Irvine. In the 1970s, Dr. Creer was asked to move to Nevada and join the practice of the first black doctor in Nevada, Charles West. He never left. I still live in that house. I live in a house that I grew up in, and it's always been a community house. You know, when someone knocks on the door and they say, is Dr. Creer here? You say, come on in. If you were sick, if you had a flu, if you hurt your arm, if you burned yourself, you go see my dad. While the Creer household was open to everyone, the community was not always as welcoming. I think that every, if you're, if you're a black person growing up in uh, our society, you face some form of discrimination. I remember one time a person uh, didn't want my brother and I in his house. They had, per they had brought other friends into the house. After graduating from Bishop Gorman High School in the 1980s and playing tennis there, Councilman Creer headed to Howard University in Washington, D.C. He joined the tennis team. Everybody thinks that you're a basketball team because you're a bunch of black kids walking into a restaurant, you know, uh, and I've been, you know, called many names on and off the tennis court and walking down the street in Raleigh, North Carolina, somebody threw a you know, coke at us and, you know, get off the street and call us derogatory names. It happens. But what don't, you know, what don't kill you makes you stronger. Uh, I think you, all those are life lessons and you learn and you move forward. Once he graduated from Howard University, Councilman Creer worked in the casino business, started his own advertising company and then a billboard company with his wife. But like his father, he always had a deeper motivation. I want to be a person that wants to contribute to the success of our community. And so in order to do that, you got to get a mitt and you got to get in the game. Creer lost his run for state senate in 2004, but pressed on. He ran for the Board of Regents in 2006 and won, then won again in 2012 before being elected to city council in 2018. Creer credits others who came before him. In understanding those that came before us, all of the blood, sweat, and tears they gave for me to be in this position here right now, uh, we need to recognize them. And we need to recognize it 365 days a year versus just in the month of February. The councilman's advice to any young person looking to make a change, dream big. For the historic west side. We're, we're, we're changing the course of the river, right? The river's running north to south. We got to stop the river and have it going from south to north now because that's the trajectory that we got to do. We have to shift that whole paradigm. Who shifted the paradigm for us in order to be here? And even if you are struggling and you're challenged, which many of us are, still we're blessed to be here. Uh, I think we live in a great country. We live in a great city. We live in a great state. But it didn't happen overnight. Great advice and great perspective there. Councilman Creer is currently working on several project in his, projects in his ward to help change the course of the river. From working to address unemployment to assisting in adding more services for the homeless and revitalizing the west side, all Prasrum projects for his 